A quick check of the political action in Tamar Nadu. Uh, Tamar Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin has just launched his election campaign from the central town of Tiruchi, Tiruchirappalli. That is, those are live pictures uh, on your screen from Tiruchi town. Uh, it was a hectic political day for him earlier in the day. There you see M K Stalin there speaking on the stage there at Trichy, a symbolic moment for the D M K launching its campaign. What it says is to return and bring back all 39 seats in Tamil Nadu. Remember the dynamics of the state uh, a little different this time with the A I D M K on the one side with some smaller parties and the B J P attempting yet again a third front in the state with parties like. the pmk earlier in the day dmk leader k ponmudi was uh, sworn in as uh, a minister this was after that supreme court uh, pulled up tamil nadu governor for his resistance in doing so after ponmudi was uh, uh, conviction by the madras high court was stayed by the supreme court it sent out a stern message uh, to the governor the swearing in is seen as a win for the dmk ahead of the polls the sc had voiced serious concern over uh, over governor r n ravi's refusal to reinduct uh, k ponmudi into the state uh, ministry he was the higher education minister and had to quit from office uh, due to a conviction in a corruption case from the madras high court the court had directed him uh, that's the governor r n ravi to take action within 24 hours uh, that development was there earlier in the day but for the moment all focus uh, to the town of tiruchirappalli i hope to be joined by my colleague sam daniel in a bit who tracks the dmk very closely because lots of political action there that were playing out uh, earlier in the day um, we also spoke with the uh, dmk's uh, former telecom minister and the member of parliament from nilgiri's a raja this is uh, after the delhi high court uh, admitted the cbi's appeal challenging former telecom minister a raja this is 6 years after that appeal was filed uh, uh, a raja firms and others in the 2g spectrum case were acquitted by the trial court uh, following which the cbi had filed this uh, appeal in 2018 of course uh, I spoke with the former telecom minister and propaganda secretary of the DMK who's right now in Tiruchirappalli earlier in the day I asked him both the consequence of the admission of the appeal by the Delhi High Court as well as uh, who the DMK's key political rival in Tamil Nadu is is it the DMK is a traditional rival the AI DMK or the BJP and this is what he had to say now mr a raja dmk mp from nilgiri sir your first reactions to this hello after hearing the both side argument high court came to came to a conclusion that uh, let it be had uh, let it be uh, had a reassessment and reappreciation of evidence this is quite natural okay as a student of law we are ready to uh, stay along with the uh, due process of law so you don't see any kind of impact because of this decision No, no, this is quite natural due process of law, na. I could tell has been given, but no, 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 no uh, the, the negative comments that has been observed. He says it is a very sensible, sensible case. What says it is a sensible case? The big uh, trial conduct that uh, no, no, there will be no prejudice on the either parties if the appeal is taken on file. That's all. All right, you are with the chief minister as you are launching a DMK campaign as he launches his campaign in Tamil Nadu. Uh, this is going to be an election do you see who do you see as the major rival for the dmk even now whether it's the bjp or the ai dmk on the ground there no no the fight will be between the dravidian parties we will we will win all 40 you're saying that the party, fight will be between dravidian parties does are you yes yes we will win in 40 our rival party only will be ai dmk not bjp but we will right. not permit the bjp in tamil nadu uh, you don't you don't fear There yeah, is no, no fear no, of no, any no, of the past no, shadows no, over this election campaign no, this time. No, the performance of the Chief Minister Mr. M K Stalin right. will give full Thanks reach of much. party of the party. Don't do it. And moreover, the Tamil Nadu people will not uh, permit right. the uh... saffron politics. Tamil Nadu people will not uh, permit the saffron politics in this land. Okay. Thanks. that's uh, that's a raja there categorical in that statement as uh, all the political action unfolds there in uh, tamil nadu uh, vasudha obviously this is uh, a reaction to those developments in the court that we've been reporting right that was a raja who i spoke with earlier in the day there sam daniel my colleague also joins me live so lots of political action there sam daniel of course we can see mk stalin 
addressing the crowds there in Tiruchirappalli now. That's right, uh, Viraraga, where it's a show of strength and also MK Stalin kick-starting the DMK's campaign, campaigning for all the DMK and Alliance candidates. Uh, Trichy, in Trichy, he's campaigning for M. Vaiko's son, who's the Trichy candidate, and Arun Nehru, the veteran K.N. Nehru's son. And uh, the DMK has retained his 2019 formidable alliance and is hoping to repeat that kind of a clean sweep trying this time for one more, trying to win all the 40 seats in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. While it has retained the earlier alliance largely, it has also added Kamal Hassan's M&M in its kitty. And we understand both Udainidhi Stalin and Kamal Hassan will play a more active campaigning role this time, touring across Tamil Nadu. And Udainidhi has been given the responsibility to ensure the western part of Tamil Nadu, a traditional AIADMK stronghold, would come to the DMK this time as well. And uh, on the other side, you have the AIADMK also trying to reclaim its lost ground. It's an important election for the AIADMK because it's uh, the first time the party goes to polls under the singular leadership of uh, party Pali Swami. PMK has gone to the BGP this time, but still the party hopes it will be able to reclaim its lost ground. And the BGP, although it doesn't have a major alliance here, is hoping that it will be able to make a splash this time. They target the ruling DMK on issues of corruption and family politics, which the DMK denies. And they hope Modi's frequent right. visits and Anamalai's Padhyatra will help them to uh, um, make a dent in this Dravidian heartland, Viraragav. Right. Right, Sam, Daniel, yes, so we just heard Raja reiterate there, uh, A Raja, that uh, the battle on the ground is between the AI, DMK and the DMK, but largely the ideological battle seems to be between the BJP and the DMK, at least as far as the larger mind space is concerned. We'll have to wait and see. This will be an interesting election to see and test again whether a third front can break that old Dravidian divide or will it remain between these two parties which have dominated Tamil Nadu's political landscape over several decades. Sam Daniel, thanks very much there uh, for making sense of all that political development.